Hey guys, what's up? It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Logitech Dual Action Gamepad with Minecraft. So, first thing you're going to need is obviously a Logitech Dual Action, which I have right here. Um, something similar from Logitech will also work, except the software might look a bit different, because this is a really old gamepad, so the software is also really old. But anyway, so we're going to go on Google, and we're going to type in um, Dual Action Driver. And then it's going to be the first one right here. Just go to Downloads, Windows 7, or whatever your OS is. Um, the version, 32 or 64 bit. I have 64, so we're going to download that. We're going to hit Download. It's going to choose where to download. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to wait for it because this takes a while. There we go. We're going to hit run. It's going to run. You're going to press OK. Welcome. Thank you for your purchase. OK. I accept the terms. OK. To continue, click next. So we're going to click next. Actually, no, wait. I'm not going to click next. Please connect your Logitech game controllers now. I apologize for that. Please connect your Logitech game controllers now. So you're going to take it. Plug into your computer. There we go. You're gonna press next. Wait while it installs. Now it's detecting stuff. Come on now. Hurry up. Okay, the device is ready. We're gonna press next. And then if you grab your controller, you can move this stuff around and it it works. All the buttons. Here's the D-pad. Here's the joysticks. So that all works. We're gonna press OK. And we don't want to view the readme and then finish. So now we're gonna press done and it's gonna pop up. Now um, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new game profile, which is going to be called that. <laughs> and we're going to go to desktop, because that's where I have my Minecraft save. And we're going to go to minecraft.exe. We're going to pick this. Um, we're going to replace it. Okay. Uh, now what we have to do, let's start with the left stick x-axis. You're going to go to select axis assignment and new axis assignment. So, we're going to call this move left right and we're going to make some keystrokes so you're going to press edit and then new keystroke and then record we're going to do w a s d shift um, space escape one two Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we basically just create all the keystrokes we're gonna need for Minecraft. So now we're gonna. Oh, and we should also have one more Q and E. Okay, there we go. Um, and now we're gonna hit OK. And for left, we're going to map it to A, because that's how you move left. And for right, you do D. There you go. And then here, this is going to be called move front back. For it will be W and back will be S. There we go. Now for the right axis, you're going to do something different. You're going to go to axis properties and mouse, uh, sorry, map it to mouse X axis. And that basically makes it the same as your mouse. So mouse Y axis here. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, let's configure button 10 here. It's this button. Uh, we're going to select it to keystroke escape. To pause the game. Um, this button 2 right here, we're going to make it a space, which is going to be jump. Button 3, we're going to make it shift to crouch. Button 
this one. It's gonna be Q. No, actually, we'll make it E for inventory. I will make this one up here. Q to drop stuff. There you go. You're done with that. Now we're gonna go to the the big right trigger button because there's two right trigger buttons. We're gonna go to the big one, which is eight, and we're gonna do assign it to the mouse left button, and the the big one on the left side. It's gonna be mouse right button. I know it's the other way around than the mouse, but I prefer it this way on a gamepad. If you want, if you want it the other way, you can just change it around. No big deal. Okay. And then uh, the last thing we have to do is switching between items. So we're going to go to button 6, which is the small right trigger button. And we're going to do a cycling command. We're going to go to new cycle command. And basically what you do is you put them here in order of what you want to cycle through every time you press. So if I press it once, it's going to go to 1. If I press it again, 2. If I press it again, 3. And so on. And, sh and then once it gets to the end, it'll go back and do it again. So that works. And I put it in, in order. And it's mapped to the new cycle command. Now button 5, which is the small trigger button on the left side, we're going to make another cycling command. Except we're going to do it from 9 to 1 to move left through your inventory. And this is going to work. So just like this. Press OK, and you're done there. Uh, so now that's really it. What you're going to do is go to Options, Global Profiling Settings. Now type a profile to apply. You're going to need a persistent profile for this. Um, normally you wouldn't, but um, Apply automatically does not work for Minecraft. So you're going to want it on uh, Persistent. So we're going to press OK, and then right now we should be able to move our... Okay, maybe not yet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so move this profiler off the screen, and now we'll go to Minecraft. Start it up here. Okay, here we are. We're going to go into our world. And you're going to see that this is going to work. So here we are in Minecraft, and right now I'm using the controller to move around. I'm using the controller to look around. I'm using the controller to dig the snow here. Um, I'm using... Oh, wait, yeah. So we're going to switch through items here. And I'm going to... Press the left trigger button to play stuff. So this actually works. Which is good. We're gonna jump and we're gonna sneak for proof of concept. There you go. We're sneaking or crouching, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's get back to our little creation here. And um, if you notice, I can't move left even though I'm pressing it, it only moves left sometimes. That's just because my controller is broken. Um, and uh, yes, but you should be able to move left as as long as your controller not broken you know okay um here we can drop stuff using button four um if we right click on here sorry left click we can open the chest we can use e to open sorry not e but the bu one button to open our inventory um switch through items hit stuff block and yeah, basically all works. Let's show you the bow, I guess. Um, okay. There you go. Proof, proof of concept. Let's do another one, just because. Oh. Barely missed me. Let's see if I can hit myself one more time. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I, okay, that's the last one. I promise. Ooh, that barely missed me. Anyway, so yes, it works. Um, 
you can throw snowballs and it all works uh, here's escape you can go through them and um, yeah escape go to your options and press the right trigger button to you select it so this all works and yeah there you go guys um, there's not really much else to say um, profile link will be in the description uh, link to download this profile if you don't want to make it yourself and yes thank you guys for watching and yeah just have a great day please leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more bye I have to end the recording manual here but yes once again thank you bye